Well, I feel like a broken record, folks. I have news on Father Rothrock, but I can't tell you everything. Welcome to Eternal Life Plan. So here's what I have. Bishop Doherty is in conversations with Father Rothrock about reinstating him. Now, what that means, I cannot reveal at this time, but I do know. Folks, read between the lines. Here's a comment made by one of my subscribers, which will make this much clearer. Let me put on my glasses. I spoke to Bishop Doherty after he celebrated Mass at my parish last weekend. I let him know that I did not agree with his decision to suspend Father Rothrock. His response was, there is much more to the story than is being reported. No, no kidding, Sherlock. I was going to say something else. But would not elaborate on any details or specifics on what he meant. In light of all the information that has exposed what Black Lives Matter Global Foundation stands for, it is obvious to me that Father Rothrock is right and Bishop Doherty is wrong. I agree. Thank you, Riley, for posting that under one of my videos on my YouTube channel. So it's no secret that this isn't the first run-in Father Rothrock has had with Bishop Doherty. My personal opinion is, and it's just my personal opinion, the bishop used this opportunity to finally silence and cancel out Father Rothrock. You only have to look at the other bishops who have done the same thing. Just look at the veiled threat Bishop Callahan made recently, publicly reprimanding Father Altman. If you haven't read Bishop Callahan's public announcement, I'll put it in the description below. Make no mistake, there is a silencing and canceling of our priests happening in my area, and I'm sure yours as well. The career priest will gladly stay silent, but those priests that attempt to educate in order for their flocks to have a formed conscience, well, those priests can't be allowed to speak the truth. And you certainly can't have formed consciences aligned with the truth of Jesus, heaven forbid. It really pains me that this is happening to the church and priest I love. Never did I think it would be necessary to call out bishops and priests that didn't have our souls in their best interest. James Martin is abusing the LGBT community because he fills their minds with his heresy, not the truth. Bishops that silence priests like Father Rothrock is committing abuse. Where do you think Father Rothrock has been living? Think about it, folks. Where is he? He has no home now. He has no income. A faithful priest who has spent over 35 plus years serving us has no home. Please think about that. Meanwhile, the bishop hasn't missed a meal or a warm bed. Yes, I'm angry. I'm angry that the heretics have taken over my church, your church too. And these bishops that silence and cancel out priests, have you noticed they all use the same language now? divisive tone causing confusion and chaos. Well, it's as if they all got the same memo. Just like when church militant came to town to interview people after the suspension of Father Rothrock, if you missed the video, I'll put the link in the description area below. Churches closed their doors to church militant. The crew leave the premises. Door refused to answer questions and called the police, who were gracious and understanding. Church militant then went to another parish in the diocese, St. Maria Goretti, to ask the pastor if interviews could be conducted outside. While the crew spoke informally with some parishioners, associate pastor Father Derek Aaron opened the door and said, don't answer any questions, quickly locking the door behind him and calling the police. 
who were once again gracious. Priests were running out to them saying they were calling the police because they <laughs> didn't get permission to be on church property. Do you call and ask permission to be on a church property before you enter a church? <laughs> I sure don't. Do you think it was coincidence that two Catholic parishes in the Diocese of Lafayette called the police on church militants media crew? Come on. It's time to stand up to this abuse. If we don't, more priests will be silenced and canceled out, especially as this election draws nearer and nearer. Yes, part of this is about the election. I'll be doing a video soon on that as well, so stay tuned. The Father Rothrock story is far from over, folks. I will keep you informed as much as I'm allowed to reveal. But it doesn't take a genius to understand there's a lot more to this story. Please share this video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Folks, we only have one life. When you stand before God and he asks, why didn't you do more to help his shepherds? Are you just going to shrug your shoulders and say, well, Lord, I'm a coward. Eternal life is forever. Keep thinking about that. Bye-bye and God bless you and God bless America and our holy and faithful priests. Our priests matter.